You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, GabThatAI, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriot. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How you guys doing? Thank you for listening to the Holly Vault Podcast. I'm your host, Safan. You can find me in BitChute as well as my backup channel and Minds.com. I will post there regularly. But on that note, guys, let's start the show, all right? If you're not aware what today is, what today month is, the month of June, it's Pride Month, all right? All of a sudden, it's Pride Month, all right? And then the one, what I want to talk about is that there's somebody out there who, um, who you know, is just, it's, just, it's just Pride Month, right? But it doesn't distinguish whether if it's straight Pride or... The other word, because you can't say the other word, because you're gonna get banned by YouTube. But I just want to say that be proud for being straight, all right? Straight Pride Parade, all right? Let's let come. There's no straight Pride, all right? Now that the other group, the other party, they got their own flag, all right? But people always talk about what is the straight straight Pride flag, all right? You know what the straight Pride flag is? The straight the straight Pride flag is the American flag right here. The American flag. That's that's the straight pride flag, all right? That's all you gotta wave. Alright? And these people are getting mad. I don't know why. Like why are you being mad? You get you have your day, we can't have our days. Alright? I am I I am proud to be a straight male. Alright. I love the member of the opposite sex. Alright, that's what I'm attracted to. Opposite attracts, right? That's the law of nature. The law of nature is opposite attract. Uh negative polar at a negative side of a magnet attract to a positive side of the magnet. That's how the law works. All right. And then you're going to get when you go when you go against that kind of um um physic, you're going against nature, you go against God. That's what it is. All right. I mean I'm, I'm not I'm saying I'm not saying I have anything against these people. I don't hate them. All right. No ill remorse, no ill will at at all, right? That's their whatever they decide to do, that's on them, right? But when it comes to the apocalypse, when it comes to the last day on earth, the day of reckoning, they don't say we didn't warn you, right? They don't say we didn't warn you because that's not how God's want everything to be. Because look at Sodom and Gomorrah. There's a reason why Sodom and Gomorrah is gone, right? And I think California is the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what it is. Say that what say what you will. California is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, right? But you know, but I digress on that. But I just want to say it's Pride Pride Month, and we should we should revere we should be prideful of who we are, right? We are. I'm, Amer- I'm proud American. Be a proud American. Be a proud straight man. I, I would suggest people should do right in the car with those um, shoe polish. They straight pride hashtag straight pride right straight pride parade because you know who does if they could be prideful of them we can't be proud of ours. That's a double standard. Why is it, why is there a double standard, huh? Why is there a double standard? I don't understand. And there's a there's a there's a there's a what's that? A controversy right now that within their flag, the the rainbow flag, right? There were people saying, why don't and they include the color, the black, the black stripe with the brown stripe, right? And all the traditional people with the with the, with the rainbow flag, they're getting mad because that's not what it stands for. It's not nothing for races. I'm like why? Okay, why? Why? <laughs> I thought this would be prideful, for right. And the, I want to ask this question, right? How did that flag, came, that rainbow flag, how did that came about? Is there like a committee? That chooses this, all right? It's like, all right, guys, we're gonna have a committee. We gotta choose what to uh, something to symbolize us with, guys. Let's go. We got well, we got this color flag. We got this flag. Loads this flag. All right. Well, what about this rainbow flag? Let's do it. Who who are we in favor of this? Everybody start raising their hands. Oh yes, yes. I I I I I. All right, make it official. The rainbow flag is officially a symbol of the of the G A Y party all right it's the official party of the flag I'm like is that how they came about is there a, a, a unanimous consensus where they vote on this is this the national thing like oh uh, who introduces this where, where what was the history of this flag what was the history of this was there a, com- a committee that officiate this i wonder why uh, who chooses i wonder who chooses people need to ask themselves this kind of question i'm not being hateful i'm just asking question guys asking question who chose this flag? Who's the guy who said, who who coined this flag to be? This is the official flag of their group, right? Who is this flag? All right, people never answered this question. Never, people never were aware. I'm like, have you ever figured, wanted to know where it came from? 
All right, today I found out, learned it up, looking for the history. How did the flag come about? And now they have trans flag now, which is like white or blue, pink, white, pink, blue now. It's not, rain, it's not rainbow, but that's what it is. I was like, and that's and that's how I came up with the question. Like, who chooses flag? <laughs> who chooses flag? And is there a committee that, <laughs> that officiate this? Or like, is this a national consensus? Did people vote on this? Huh? What about what about another, you know, G-A-Y guy that, that have a different idea? Like, oh, I don't want the rainbow to represent, represent, represent us. I want something else to represent us. All right. It doesn't make any sense. Who officiate this? All right. It is weird. People never answer these kind of questions. And I just find it, you know, interesting that these stuff never been addressed. Like, who officiate these? Who choose this? There's um, symbols who, like, what the heck, man? Who chooses this? All right, who chooses what, those, what, there's, what does those color represent? All right. It is weird, man. I don't, like I said once before, I have no ill will against these people. I don't hate these people. All right? I don't hate them. There's no hate. All love. All right? I love everybody. I love the Jews. I love the blacks. I love the that. But the thing is, I think some people are misguided. All right? That's the thing. They're misguided, and they're not following the way of the God. God don't want this. All right? God already have a plan. Look, wh this is why there's so much epidemic when it comes to depression, anti-depression. People are not happy. People, you know, committing suicide and all this stuff that happened because they're not following... Following the ways of God. Look at the people. Look, look there's ex examples. What was? <laughs> look at all the Christian out there. All right, people who follow God. They're not. They're not depressed. They're not suicidal. They're not on anti. I don't know about antidepressants. They're probably on some medication. They're not doing all this stuff at the, the rate of people who don't believe in God. Right. Right. There's. There's evidence that people who like don't believe in God are more susceptible to all these antidepressant, broken homes effect, and all these stuff, right? They're more susceptible to this kind of negative power, all right? You have to have some, you have to follow the way of, of the Lord who wants you to do this, who wants you to follow his ways, all right? If you follow his ways, you won't, you won't be depressed. You'll be happy. You'll be content with life. You know what direction to go. These people don't have no direction. There's no guidance. When you have no guidance, you have no direction in life. And then it will direct you to to your downfall when you don't have no any direction. All right? Just take that and consider I'm not speaking on my butt right, right here. When was the last Christian you know that's, that's suicidal? I don't understand. I mean, some of them need, some of them fall in a hard time, but this is likely for them to, to have these... Um, social issues social construct issues all right and when it comes to like when you're eight, oh my god i don't want to i don't want to touch on the subject but i have to touch on the subject and then that's uh, that comes to the to come to um, the atheist people who notoriously don't believe in god right on purpose but in my opinion when you don't believe when you're atheist claim yourself an atheist that's mean that mean those people that claim themselves that they fall for the devil. What's the devil? What's the devil objective? To make you dis disprove God. To make you disbelieve God. That's what the devil is. All right? He tried to prove God wrong. All right. The devil, the satanic, whatever they are. Right. Their objective is try to get you to disavow God. To not believe in the following. To not believe in the teaching. And when you say you're an atheist, that's mean that you fell for his trap. You fell for the devil's trap. That's what it is. All right. And all and these atheists, I I don't know. I'm not the only one to pick up on this. That they're the only one that keep attacking Christianity. I never see them attack. Islam, I never seen them attack. Buddhism, I never seen them attack. Hinduism, I never seen them attack. Shinduism, but the only Christian that's the main target that they're always attacking. Why don't they ever d disprove the other religions as well? All right, but that's what I see. I mean, I can't speak for everybody else. I can only speak for myself. All right, but I digress. I we just off a of tangents about this. <laughs> it's supposed to be straight pride with <laughs> straight pride, right? Straight pride. Just be prideful, you're straight. Alright? Sorry I got itch on my neck. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think. You think you think they shouldn't discriminate against straight people? Alright? And and if they and and if they discriminate for me being straight, I can say, hey man, you're a bigot. Stop being a bigot. Alright? I'm not being a bigot to you. You can you can celebrate your but your day. I can't celebrate my day. They said Pride Pride Month. It doesn't say it's Gay Pride Month. It doesn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said that. I just said that word. 
the GA Pride Month. It just said Pride. All right, just say Pride. It doesn't distinguish whether you're, whether you're straight or what whatever. All right, and it's all saying straight edge, right? It's all saying straight edge. Straight edge means that I'm better than you. <laughs> That's from a CM Punk. It's from a wrestler. All right, if you don't list, watch wrestling. All right, that's what straight edge is. Straight edge means that you're straight edge. All right, you're not crooked. All right, that's what I, that's what I, if you're not straight, that means you're crooked, basically. All right, if you're not straight, you're crooked, you're compromised. And that's why I think you have to be, <laughs> you have to be in line with the uh, practice of God. Try not to do this thing that against God will. All right, because if you don't go against God, if you go against God. I mean, you're crooked. You're very crooked in nature. All right, just choose the right path, and everything has to be right. Left is crazy. All right, there's this old saying that there's a study or this article I read that people who's are this is just a study I've read. Right? I'm not saying this. I'm just letting, letting you know what I heard. This article that I read that people who are left-handed are more likely to be evil. I right? more like to make wrong decision but i'm just here and i'm not saying that's for sure right because i know some good left left handers but the, but they did research about people who are left-handed right but if you're left-handed i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to offend you all right don't be an essay jeopardy i'm just letting you know what's what's up but if you're left-handed more respect to you, you you're able to do something that i'm not able to do right with my left hand all right you got one you're up you are one up me on that but on that note i digress all right but I, I I gotta stop saying this because YouTube is not YouTube is now banning people from saying anything insensitive now. They don't like free speech, so they 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 started to demonetize people by using the the Vox Apocalypse three point right? If you haven't heard, they start to get censoring start censoring conservative talk. People who make hateful when that's very vague. When you say hateful speech, that what's constitute hateful speech? All right, but I digress and. Yeah, because YouTube's not monetized my channel. I'm unscripted and rehearsed and edited. That means I can say whatever I want without being bothered by any outside interference. Okay, guys? And you like what I do, please like, share, subscribe. You can find my backup channel on bitshoot.com. And you can subscribe to me on bitshoot as well. Not only subscribe, but you can subscribe me on YouTube. Because I'm riding this until the wheel fall off, right? Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Because when you subscribe, it tells me that people are actually watching my channel. And it encourages me to make more videos, right? When you, when you make more videos... You get to you your re, your the Google algorithm it 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 amplified your my channel or it 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 it, it was that promote my channel even more the more the more video I made that's why when you incur when you when you like my channel it encourage me to make more videos and more, get to more people and it could we could destroy those wickedness in America we're, we're having through right now America there's a full it feel, it's filled with a lot of wickedness right now all right that's what I think. A lot of wickedness that we're experiencing in America right now, and we need to combat that somehow. And people need to wake up. It's the age of information. There's information you could go right now. It's not the 1980s anymore, where people are still asleep. Right? Age of Aquarius, age of enlightenment. All right. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. This is the Hollywood Podcast. I know your time is precious, and I try wa not wasting your time. My name is Stefan. This is the Hollywood Podcast. I thank you for listening. Much appreciated. Like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. I might respond if I, if I resonate with it. But on that note, guys, you guys have a good day, and I'm checking out. Peace.